Stonehenge, the famous monument on the Salisbury Plain in southern England. So we know that the orientation of the model of the structure was not just randomly placed. You had to have this all-important alignment, this axis to begin with. Once you've got that, it would only make sense that you would then use a very rational and specific sequence of steps to determine the distances and proportions and ratios of the rest of the monument that's now going to be juxtaposed onto that solstitial alignment, if that makes sense. So what we have here, we have dimensions that are very, very close, and several of them will give us indications that we are on the right track, because it turns out that the average distance of the center line of the stones, which is marked by the, the average length of the lintels, is 10.56 feet, right? Now there's enough of them that remain and the tooling of them is highly accurate. So from that, one comes up with a number that's very close to 10.56 feet, which would also represent the center line of the sarsen stone uprights. Well, if you measure on the sarsen stone circle, the outer face, it works out to be very close to 105.6 feet, right? It suggests that there's a a common unit of measurement here being involved. Does that suggest the possibility that there was a unified system of measurement here was based upon our what's still extant as the modern imperial mile and sub-multiples of that unit? Is it possible that our feet and our miles are as old as Stonehenge?